Hello everyone. Today we will do the exercises of India, our motherland, of class four, chapter thirteen. Let's start. Something to know. Question A. Take the correct option. One. The shape of Deccan Plateau is rectangular, triangular. Circular. Option B is correct here. The shape of Deccan Plateau is triangular. Two. Lakshadweep Islands are located in Arabian Sea, Bay of Bengal, Red Sea. They are located in the Arabian Sea. Three. Many rivers rise in plains. Mountains, desert. Here, option number B is correct. Many rivers rise in mountains. Four. The Thar Desert is located mainly in Gujarat, Bihar, Rajasthan. Option number C, Rajasthan. The Thar Desert is mainly located in Rajasthan. Next question number B. Fill in the blanks. One, India is a vast country. Two, India is located in the continent of Asia. Three, the peaks of Himalayas are covered with snow most of the time. Four, the northern plain is a broad, flat, and fertile land. Five. India has a long coastline. Question number C. Match the following. But before doing this question, let me tell you something about our states and union territories. At present, we have twenty-eight states and eight union territories. So, accordingly, I have made the changes in option number A. And in option number C. Now let's match it. One. States. They are twenty-eight in number, so we will match it with option number C. Two. Mountains. Option number D. They are source of many rivers. Three. Union territories. Option number A. They are eight in number. Four, neighboring countries. Option number B, Nepal, Bhutan, China. They are our neighboring countries. Next, question number D. Identify the physical features of India. One, it is popularly known as the Thar Desert. The Indian Desert is popularly known as the Thar Desert. So in point number one, we will write Indian Desert. Two, it is also known as Southern Plateau. The Deccan Plateau is also known as Southern Plateau. Three, it is a group of about three hundred islands. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands are a group of about three hundred islands. Four, it is broader than the western coastal plains. The eastern coastal plains are broader than the western coastal plains. Next question number E. Answer the following questions. One. What makes India a unique country? India is a vast country. It has a great variety of landforms, like mountains, forests, deserts, lakes, rivers, valleys, and plateaus. India also has a great variety in flora, that is, plant life and fauna, animal life. 
climate, traditions and culture. This great diversity makes India a unique country. 2. Write two main features of each of the following. The Himalayas 1. The high peaks are covered with snow throughout the year. 2. The mountains are the source of many rivers. Northern Plains It is a broad flat rolling land. It is fertile and hence many crops grow here. Thar Desert It is a barren and sandy land. It receives very little rainfall. Taken Plateau It slopes from western side to the eastern side. It is triangular in shape with a rocky and uneven surface. 3. Name three holy places located in the northern plains. Three holy places located in northern plains are Haridwar, Mathura and Varanasi. Next question number 4. Describe the Lakshwadeep island. Lakshwadeep islands are in the Arabian Sea. In the southwest of India, they are small and flat and close to the mainland. Out of 36 islands, only 10 islands are big enough for people to live on them and earn their living. 5. List four features of your state that you admire. Give two reasons in support of your answer. The four features of my state that I admire are 1. It is rich in minerals and ores. 2. It is also one of the tourist attraction. 3. The soothing weather condition. 4. It is rich in forest cover. Now two reasons in support of my answer are First, due to abundance of minerals and ores, many industries are set up. Second, the rich forests provide shelter to many birds and animals. The answer of this question may vary as people belong to different regions. So these are the features of my state. 6. In your opinion, why is there a difference in temperature on the mountains and deserts? The desert is barren and sandy with very little rainfall. So it is very hot in desert. Whereas on the mountains the temperature decreases with increase in altitude. Hence it is too cold on mountains. Thank you.